Chapter 6 Transportation, Communication and Tourism Introduction Transportation is the movement of goods or people from one place to another. It provides manufacturing companies with the raw materials and consumers with the finished products. Thus, it serves as the connecting point for the various sectors of the state or country. The development of transport facilities in an area go hand in hand with the economic development of the area. The medium used for transportation is known as means of transport. There are four types of means of transport. Land transport, water transport, air transport and pipeline transport. Let us explore more about each of them. Land transportation Various geographical and economic factors affect the development of land transportation. Some of them are Topography Plains are flat lands and offer least resistance. So, it is easier to construct roads and lay out railway tracks in plains unlike hilly areas. Thus, plain lands have a more extensive transportation network than hilly areas. This is the reason why land transportation is extensively spread in the state except in the Sayadri Mountains, which pose as a barrier for construction of roads and railway routes. For example, only a few ghats connect the Konkun region with the Plateau region. Some of the ghats are Thal Ghat, Bhor Ghat, Ponda Ghat, Amba Ghat and Amboli Ghat. Density of population Areas like Mumbai, Pune, Nagpur, etc. which have high population densities need a more extensive transport network. Industrial region Areas with many industries need good connectivity in order to transport raw materials and goods from one place to another. Land transport is of two types, namely roadways and railways. Roadways Roads are ideal for covering short distances using cars, two-wheelers, trucks and tankers. Roads in rural areas are usually unpaved or kacha where people travel to places by using bullock carts, bicycles, etc. Advantages of Roads Once a road is constructed to connect different areas, it improves access to the areas as vehicles can now travel to those areas. This helps people to not only reach a previously inaccessible region but also to move raw materials and products to and from the newly accessible region. This in turn helps the development of agriculture and other industries in the area. Further, a road connecting a rural area with an urban area also helps in the development of the rural area. A good transport network also spurs the development of tourism. During natural disasters, a well-connected transport network 
can help provide relief services to the affected areas. Disadvantages of Roads Roads on the whole are expensive as compared to railways when talking about long distances. Moving heavy and bulk products by roads is more difficult than moving them by railways. Building roads in hilly terrain such as the Western Ghats is not feasible as roads in such terrain need continuous maintenance especially during the rainy season. In the state, roads have been built mostly along river valleys of Tapi, Bhima, Krishna and Godavari. The Mumbai-Goa Highway built along the Konkan coast has contributed to the growth of the Konkan area. Most of the roads converge into major cities such as Pune, Ahmednagar, Aurangabad, Solapur, Dhule and Nagpur. The hilly terrain of the Sahyadris, Mahadev Hills, Harish Chandra and Balaghat ranges prevents the development of roads. Due to the extensive forest cover in Garchiroli, the road network there is less developed. Types of Roads Based on the construction and maintenance, roads in Maharashtra can be classified as follows. 1. National Highways 2. State Highways 3. District Roads and 4. Village Roads National Highways the central government builds and maintains a network of highways which connect major cities and state capitals. The National Highways Authority of India is the government agency responsible for the construction, maintenance and operation of highways. The highways are identified by numbers. For example, NH3 connects Mumbai Nasik Agra and NH17 connects Panvel and Goa. State Highway The state government builds and maintains a network of roads that links major cities and towns in the state. They are also linked to national highways and other important roads. District Roads District roads link talukas in the state and they are also linked to national and state highways. The Zilla Parishads maintain these roads. Village Road Village roads are often unpaved or Kacha. They are maintained by Zilla Parishads. They play an important role in providing accessibility to remote areas in villages and also in the development of agriculture in rural areas. Apart from the previously mentioned roads, two express highways run through Mumbai. The Western Express Highway begins at Mahim and runs parallel to Western Railway up to Dahisar and then merges with NH14. The Eastern Express Highway begins at Sion and ends at Thane. The Mumbai Pune Super Expressway the only Super Expressway in Maharashtra is the Mumbai-Pune Super Expressway. It has brought down the travelling time and traffic congestion between Mumbai and Pune. 
द महाराष्ट्र स्टेट रोड ट्रांसपोर्टेशन कॉर्पोरेशन और एम एस आर टी सी रन बसेज नोन एज एस टी बसेज विच कनेक्ट मोस्ट ऑफ द टाउन एंड विलेजेस इन द स्टेट अंडर द ब्रांड नेम शिवनेरी इट ऑल्सो रन वॉल्वो बस सर्विसेज दैट ऑपरेट बिटवीन मुंबई एंड पुणे एंड अदर मेजर सिटीज railways the indian railways is owned by the government it is used to move passengers and goods over long distances thus it forms an integral part of the land transportation just like roads railways also contribute to the economic development of a region The first railway connectivity in India was established between Mumbai and Thane in 1853 covering a distance of 34 kilometers. Advantages of railways. For long distance travel, railways are faster and cheaper than roads. they are the apt choice for transporting heavy and bulky products and help in the industrial development of the region disadvantages of railways building a rail network is expensive constructing railway tracks in hilly terrain is difficult railway network is not flexible and cannot provide door to door service and hence railways need feeder or connecting roads in maharashtra railways can be divided into suburban and long distance trains the suburban trains can be further divided into local metro and monorail There are also mini trains which run in hilly areas on narrow gauge tracks for example the one that runs between Neral and Mathiran The capital city is connected to major cities of India via railways Mumbai is the headquarters of both the central and western railway The railway network distribution is uneven in Maharashtra due to its topography. The main railway routes of Maharashtra are 1 Mumbai to Kolkata 2 Mumbai to Chennai 3 Mumbai to Ernakulam connected by Konkan railway 4 Mumbai to New Delhi connected by western railway and 5 pune miraj bengaluru these railway lines mostly run along the river valleys garchiroli in eastern maharashtra does not have railway lines because of its extensive forest cover mumbai metropolitan Local trains form the lifeline of the Mumbai metropolitan region which has a high population density. The local railway network in Mumbai region is divided into the western, central and harbor line. Recently, the monorail and the metro rail have started operations in Mumbai. Local trains in Pune run between Pune city and Lonavala. Air transport. Air transportation is the fastest mode of transportation. Therefore, it is ideal to transport perishable commodities such as fruits vegetables flowers medicines etc 
presence of air transport spurs tourism in the area, which in turn contributes to the economic development of the region. Disadvantages of Air Transport The disadvantages of air transport are that it is more expensive than land transport and it has a low carrying capacity. Further, constructing airports requires a lot of capital investment and it also requires service roads and railways. The cost of aviation fuel is also very high. Also, skilled people are required to carry out all the functions related to airways. The Juhu Aerodrome, which was India's first airport, is now used as a flying club. It also has a helipad. Distribution Maharashtra has four international airports in Mumbai, Pune, Aurangabad and Nagpur. The Chhatrapati Shivaji International Airport in Mumbai is one of India's busiest airports. The Aurangabad Airport has started flights to Jeddah for Hajj pilgrimage in 2008. Other smaller airports are present in Nanded, Washim, Akola, Karar, Ratnagiri, etc. Government or privately owned planes generally use these airports. Two other international airports are being built in Pune and Navi Mumbai. Water Transport There are two types of waterways. One, oceanic and two, inland waterways. Advantages of waterways Waterways act like natural highways. Hence, there is no need to construct roads and tracks. Ships are the cheapest and best mode of transport for heavy and bulky goods. Disadvantages of waterways the disadvantages of ships are that they are a very slow mode of transportation and require regular maintenance. Maharashtra has a 720 km indented coastline and therefore has a number of ports. The major ports are Mumbai Port and Jawaharlal Nehru Port. Mumbai Port is a natural harbour. It is chiefly used for bulk cargo. A number of big ships anchor here because water there is quite deep. Jawaharlal Nehru Port also known as Nava Shiva Port was commissioned in 1989. The port has limited manpower due to a high degree of mechanization which manages all the import and export activities. The Konkan coast has around 48 minor ports which handle passenger traffic, fishing or export of minerals. These ports are functional during all the seasons except for monsoon season. This is because the seas become rough during that period. Some of them are Srivardhan, Dhabol, Devgarh, Ratnagiri, Vijaydurg, Murur and Bengurla, etc. Inland Waterways the rivers in Maharashtra are shallow 
and dry up in the summer as they are rain fed further they pass through rough terrain as a result the rivers in the state cannot be used as waterways ferries are not commonly used as means of transport to cross rivers except in the areas nearby reservoirs where the accessibility is limited ferries ply in all reservoir areas which are surrounded by hills such as koina murshi and panchet pipelines pipelines can be used to transport goods such as liquids and gases pipes can deliver water crude oil and natural gas from the place of production to consumers crude oil and gas is usually transported through pipe from oil fields to the refineries and then from the refineries to the ports for export or to the marketplace advantages it is feasible to use pipelines in the long run as it does not require any fuel to run pipelines can be used in hilly terrain laid underground and even under the sea no delay is involved in the transportation of the material disadvantages initial construction costs of pipelines are very high since pipelines pass through remote areas there are high chances for their sabotage leaks in pipelines can be hazardous therefore they require continuous maintenance in the state pipelines are used to transport water pipes are also used to supply natural gas and crude oil in the cities of mumbai and pune pipelines are also used to transport crude oil from mumbai high to refineries in uran communication communication refers to the exchange of information knowledge and ideas between individuals when information is shared with the masses or a large number of people it is known as mass communication example of various communication media are telegraph telephones radio television films computer networking newspapers magazines etc let us quickly revise some important points about each of them post and telegraph sending letters through post is one of the oldest methods of communication in the state postal services are available even in the remote areas the postal services offer various improved options such as speed post quick mail service parcel service etc which can be even afforded by common man telephones the two main telephone service providers in the state are bharat sanchar nigam limited or bsnl and mahanagar telephone nigam limited or mtnl apart from the landline connections today mobile phones have become ubiquitous as it connects people directly irrespective of their geographical locations in order to survive in this competitive world service providers have been reducing their service charges 
day by day. As a result, such services are now even affordable for people living in rural areas. Radio Radio is used to broadcast news, music, entertainment and educational programs etc. Many districts in Maharashtra have their own relay stations. Television Television is the means of communication that can provide entertainment, films, news, education, agricultural programs and information about health, stock market, sports, weather, etc. One can achieve the latest updates related to any field while sitting at home. Previously, there used to be only the Dur Darshan channel. However, today people from every nook and corner have access to hundreds of channels from around the world. This has been possible only because of artificial satellites having the capability of sending the information that has been captured by it. Internet The Internet is a global system of interconnected networks based on certain communication protocols. It provides various information and communication services. The Internet provides information on any topic you want, making it a powerful source of information. The Internet has minimized distances, enabling us to immediately communicate with anyone around the world. Various services are now available through the Internet such as online shopping, searching for jobs on job portals, networking opportunities and access to entertainment through online games, videos, films, songs and radio etc. It is because of internet that people from different geographical locations belonging to same profession can share information or help each other in case of emergency. Today, social networking sites like Facebook and Twitter are another way to connect with people online from across the world. Tourism People who travel to a place for pleasure are called tourists. And the business of providing services such as information, accommodation, transportation, etc. to tourists is called tourism. The Maharashtra government is providing various plans to boost the growth of the tourism industry in the state. Remote and backward areas are being developed to attract tourists in order to boost the economy of the area. Also, today many professionals are combining business trips with holiday trips. Tourism industry provides many job opportunities to people by setting up hotels, booking centers, etc. Development of tourism industry has also been a driving force for the local craftsmen to show their work and keep constantly working towards achieving excellence in the same. For example, Aurangabad stone carvings have gained popularity amongst tourists. Health tourism is also gaining prominence in Mumbai where people from around India and the world come for health treatment. The state government has devised 
various plans to boost tourism in the state, such as providing special transportation facilities. The Maharashtra Tourism Development Corporation, that is MTDC, has built guest houses in most of the tourist locations in the state. The government is also providing water sports facilities at beach resorts and many more such facilities to attract more tourists who visit these places for the purpose of relaxation. The MTDC in alliance with Indian Railways has launched the Deccan Odyssey which is a moving palace on wheels with various five-star facilities. Foreigners enjoy their journey to many places of Maharashtra by this train. Ropeways A ropeway is a system of overhead cables on which cabins or carriers are suspended in order to transport passengers. A motor drives the cables, which are suspended from towers. Usually, ropeways are used to cross deep valleys and steep slopes. For example, ropeways in Raigarh that provide passengers transportation to Raigarh Fort. Various types of tourist spots in Maharashtra are beaches, forts, hill stations, religious places, historical places, beaches. The state has many beautiful beaches in Mumbai, Alibagh, Hariharishwar, etc. Forts a number of forts are found in Maharashtra. Forts like Murud Janjira, Sehgarh and Raigar etc. are quite popular among tourists. Hill Stations Some famous hill stations in Maharashtra are Mahabaleshwar, Mathiran, Chikhaldara, Lonavla etc. Religious Places Devotees flock to religious places such as Pandharpur, Shirdi, Nandir, etc. in the state. Historical Places The state has many tourist spots having immense historical value. The Ajanta and Elora Caves in Aurangabad become center of attraction for many foreign tourists, particularly after the opening of the international airport at Aurangabad. Wildlife Sanctuary and National Parks A variety of birds and animals are found in the forests of Maharashtra. Many of these forests have been declared as national parks and bird sanctuaries to protect the native bird and animal species. For example, the Sanjay Gandhi National Park, Karnala Bird Sanctuary and Tadoba National Park. Ecotourism and Environment in 1996, the World Conservation Union or IUCN adopted the definition of ecotourism as environmentally responsible travel to natural areas in order to enjoy and appreciate nature and accompanying cultural features both past and present that promote conservation have a low visitor impact and provide for beneficially active socio-economic involvement of local people. Ecotourism focuses on sensitivity towards 
and respecting local cultures and biodiversity, educating both the traveller and local communities about conservation, providing support to local conservation efforts and active community participation. This results in low visitor behaviour impact, provides greater economic benefits to the localities, preserves natural and cultural heritage and improves welfare of local communities. If you like our videos, please do share and subscribe to our channel.